In today's Gospel for the 20th week of the year, uh, we have a very earnest young man asking Jesus in his, all his ardour and zeal, what must I do to preserve my life and to gain eternal life? And uh, this is very much in contrast, I thought, to the, the witness we see in the Book of Wisdom in the first reading. You know, uh, I prayed and understanding was given to me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. The difference uh, in those two witnesses. Uh, and then Jesus' response to the young man. It, when, he, when the young man tells me he's done everything that's required of him by the commandments, Jesus says, well, there is one thing. There's one thing you lack, you see. And we need to hear that because we too in our own lives we can be very earnest, very sincere, trying to seek our salvation and perfection. And sometimes we perhaps uh, don't listen to what God is saying. Jesus says, there's one thing you lack. And then, of course, he says in those words, go sell all you have, give the money to the poor. Then, this beautiful invitation, come and follow me. It's a lovely invitation, a wonderful invitation and that we must hear, that we must keep on hearing in our lives, in our zeal and our earnestness, he's constantly saying, come, come to me. And when we actually come to him, uh, a new life begins. Different from the old life of our earnestness, we now have a new life of joy and wisdom and the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, sharing with us in so many ways. It reminds me of uh, the, the letter to the Hebrews, in chapter 11, if you remember in the Hebrews, this great chapter of faith. Faith being the basis of things hoped for, the substance of the realities yet to come. And it, it enumerates all the people in the Old Testament, particularly, who suffered and came through suffering doing great things uh, because of their faith. And then in chapter 12, it begins with, talking to us now he said we have this great crowd of witnesses all around us uh, urging us on and uh, urging us on he said because we need to uh, see their witness of how God helped them and how God will help us in our faith the writer says because uh, you know uh, uh, we need to shed all the encumbrances that are weighing us down and the sin that clings to us so easily and really in our lives we've got to be so aware that we do watch out to make sure that we're repenting there are many opportunities in the day when we sit quietly and think about our lives we realize that our motives and intentions even in our zeal we need not only God's forgiveness but his wisdom that wisdom to give us our true path in life and, and as, the, as the Hebrews 12 says, that we, we are on this journey, this, this race. He said it's a race we're in. And we remember that uh, the journey, the race that each of us has, is our own special journey that God has plotted out for us and for everybody else. We're not in competition with each other, but we're earnestly racing to get the crown and the reward because God is helping us all the way. And we can have so many difficulties that can, can weigh us down. Um, and uh, uh, these are the moments when we realize the second reading from uh, Hebrews 4, Hebrews 4, chapter 12, uh, verse 12. The Word of God is alive and active. The more we sit quietly with God's Word, it quietens our consciences. It purifies our hearts, it purifies our intentions. And we get a whole new level of joy in knowing the Lord is with us, traveling with us on our journey through life. And um, when I th just think now at this very moment, uh, you know, of how I've come through so many difficulties in my own life, it's because I know that when I fell or I got to the stage where I couldn't, didn't want to do any more almost, uh, you cry out and suddenly you are lifted up and this wonderful reality of crying out, entreating and a new life uh, and, and a new 
strength suddenly coming to us to carry on, to endure, to persevere. That's what it's all about. Um, that lovely, that lovely hymn, tune, song. When I am down, and oh my soul so weary, when troubles come, and my heart burden be, then I am still, and wait here in the silence, until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up to stand on high, the high mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. That's the real answer to, the, to, the, to, the, to these readings this Sunday. God raises us up in our journey in our life to more than we can be. Hallelujah. Amen.